Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's solve this problem. So determine the center versus foci and equation of asymptotes of the hyperbola with the given equation. So we have this given equation and these are the steps to solve for this problem. So first we need to group all x and all y but start with positive x squared and y squared. Since from this equation, x squared is positive, so therefore, this hyperbola is in horizontal position. And since x squared is positive, so therefore, first group all x. So we have now 16x squared plus 64x. Then for the second group, since this one is negative 100 y squared, so we need to put this negative outside. So therefore, this becomes positive 100 y squared. Then this positive 800 y. So since we put negative outside, so therefore, this positive becomes negative. So minus 800 y. Then equal, so transpose this negative 3136, so this becomes positive 3136. Then we need to factor out the coefficient of x squared and y squared. So for equation of x, we need to factor out this 16. So put 16 outside, so this becomes x squared. Then plus this 64 divided by 16. This one is 4x, then minus 4y, we need to factor out this uh, 100, so put 100 outside, so this becomes y squared, then minus this 800 divided by 100, this one is 8y, then equals 3136, then do completing the square. So, in completing the square for x, so take the coefficient of x, divide by 2, then take the square. So, 4 divided by 2, this one is 2, and 2 squared is 4. And for y, so take the coefficient of y, that's 8, divide by 2, take the squared. So, 8 divided by 2, this one is 4, and 4 squared, that's 16. Then we need to add these numbers to this equation. So we have 16 then times x squared plus 4x plus 4x, that's plus 4. Then minus 100 times y squared minus 8y, then plus 4y, so plus 16. Then equals... 3136 Now since the number we added on the left side must also be added on the right side Since we add 4 for the equation of x and we have this number outside So we need to multiply these two numbers then add to the right side so plus 16 times 4 then the other one, since we add 16 for the equation of y, and we have this negative 100 outside, so we need to multiply these two numbers and add to the right side. Since this one is negative, so therefore, minus 100 times 16. Then apply a factoring and simplify. So we have 16 times factors of x squared, that's x times x. Since this one is positive, so plus factors of 4, that's 2 times 2, so x plus 2 to the power 2. Then minus, so we have this 100 times factors of y squared, that's y times y. Since this one is negative, so minus factors of 16. That's 4 times 4, then y minus 4 to the power 2. Then equals this 3136 plus 16 times 4, this one is 64. 
Then minus 100 times 16, that's 1,600. Then simplify, so we have 16 times x plus 2 to the power 2 minus 100 times y minus 4 to the power 2 equals. So we need to add these three numbers. So we have 3,136 plus 64 minus 1,600. That's 1,600. So equals 1,600. Then since uh, equation must be equal to 1, so to make this equation equal to 1, so we need to divide every term by this number. So divide by 1,600, also this term, 1,600, and also this term, 1,600. Then simplify. So since this one is 16, so we need to divide uh, this term by 16. So to omit this 16, so we have now x plus 2 to the power 2, then over this 1,600 divided by 16, so this one over 100, then minus, so for this term, we need to divide both sides by 100 to omit this 100, so we have now y minus 4 to the power 2 over so this 1,600 divided by 100, this one is 16, then equals 1 because this one is equal to 1. So this is now the standard equation of this hyperbola. Since in the equation of hyperbola, the first denominator is a squared and the second is b squared. And since this one is a horizontal hyperbola, so therefore, we're going to use this formula to solve for the center, vertices, foci, and equation of asymptote. But first, we need to find these five values, the h, the k, the a, the b, and the c. So to solve for the values of h and k, so from this equation, so x minus h and y minus k. So in the standard equation, this one is h and this one is k. So since this one is positive 2, so therefore h is negative 2. So h is negative 2. Then for k, since this one is minus 4, so therefore k is positive 4. So k is positive 4. Then for a, so we have this 100 equals a squared. So uh, a squared equals 100. Then take the square root to solve for a. So therefore a is equal to 10. Then for b, so we have this 16 equals b squared. So b squared equals 16 then take the square root so therefore b is equal to 4 and to solve for c using this formula so we have c squared is equal to a squared that's 10 squared plus b squared that's 4 squared so c squared is equal to 100 plus 16 and c squared is equal to 116. Then take the square root, so therefore c is equal to square root of 116. Since we have now all the values, the h, the k, a, b, and c, so we can solve now the coordinates of the center, vertices, foci, and equation of asymptotes. So to solve for the coordinate of the center, that's h and k. So h is negative 2 and k is positive 4. So this one is the coordinate of the center. Then for vertices, so we have h plus and minus a. 
So negative 2 plus and minus a, a is 10. Then k is positive 4. Then simplify. So we have negative 2 plus 10 and 4. And the other one, negative 2 minus 10 and 4. So we have now negative 2 plus 10. This one is 8 and 4. Then the other one, negative 2, negative 10, negative 12, and 4. So these are the coordinates of these vertices. Then for the foci, so we have this h plus and minus c. So we have negative 2 plus and minus c, that's square root of 116. Then k is positive 4. So simplify. So we have negative 2 plus square root of 116 and 4. Then the other one, negative 2 minus square root of 116 and 4. Then simplify. So we have negative 2 plus square root of 116. So equals... That's 8.77, so we have 8.77 and 4. Then the other one, so we have negative 2 minus square root of 116 equals, so that's negative 12.77. So we have negative 12.77 and 4. So these are the coordinates of the foci. Then the last one for this equation of asymptotes. So we have y equals k. k is positive 4. Then uh, plus and minus b over a. So b over a, so b is 4, a is 10, so that's 4 over 10, then times x minus h, h is negative 2, so minus negative 2. Then simplify, so we have y equals 4 plus minus so this 4 over 10 reduce divisible by 2. So this one is 2 over 5 then times x double negative that's positive so plus 2. Then to simplify this equation we need to multiply this whole equation by this denominator so multiply this by 5. Then simplify so we have this one uh, 5y then equals 5 times 4, this one is 20, then plus minus to this term, so cancel 5, so we have now 2 times x plus 2. Then simplify, so we have now 5y equals 20 plus 2 times x plus 2, and the other one, so 5y equals 20 minus 2 times x plus 2. So this positive and negative. So positive and negative. Then simplify. So we have now 5y equals 20. Then plus 2 times x. This one is 2x. And 2 times 2. This one is plus 4. Then we have now 5y equals 2x, 20 plus 4, this one is 24. Then divide by 5 every term. So therefore y is equal to 2 over 5x plus 24 over 5. So this one is the first equation of the asymptote. And the other one, so we have now 5y equals 20 
negative 2 times x, this one is negative 2x, and negative 2 times 2, that's negative 4. So we have now 5y equals negative 2x, 20 minus 4, this one is positive 16. Divide every term by 5. So we have now y is equal to negative 2 over 5x, 10 plus 16 over 5. So this one is the second equation of asymptotes. So therefore, the coordinate of the center, vertices, foci, and the equations of asymptotes.